Is Lorena Bobbitt a greedy, jealous woman who sexually mutilated her husband? He raped her several times over a three-day period. Lorena took a large kitchen knife, cut off her sleeping husband's penis. She turns around, marches right back into the bedroom, and just does the deed. I don't know how to say that for network television. <laughs> she just... My name's Jim Sain. I'm a urologist and enjoyed a very quiet life at Prince William Hospital in Manassas, Virginia. And all that changed for me June 23rd in 1993. The phone at my bedside woke me up in the middle of the night. And um, really all I knew about this on the way into the hospital was that a penis had been amputated and the organ was missing. What's the first thing you did when you woke up? I cleared my thoughts and applied pressure and I uh, went into the wake my friend up to tell him to get me to the hospital. Describe the look on your doctor's face when you showed him what Lorena had done. It's like his jaw drop. <laughs> I knew I had to get a microvascular surgeon. They said, you know, we've got this guy here, his penis has been cut off, and can you come down and basically put it back on? I said, okay, do you have the penis? And they said, no. Meanwhile, Lorena has been in the apartment with really a knife in one hand and his penis in the other. And she goes downstairs to her car. I remember I couldn't make a turn because I, um, my hands were, were um, with something on it. And so I, I tried to turn, but then I, I saw that I have it in, in my hand. You were still holding his severed penis in yes. your car. Yes, yes. And so I, I look at it and I scream. <laughs> I threw it out of the window. And um, I just drive it as fast as I could. Just driving fast and faster. My husband said, Lorena's here. And I said, oh my God, what has John done to her? And I walked down the stairs, and she's huddled in the corner of my living room, screaming and crying in like a fetal position. And then she said, I cut his penis off. And I said, you did what? And I said, well, I think we better call, you know, 911. Jana from Lorena is able to find out the rough coordinates of the penis. So Jana tells the police roughly where the penis is located. We ended up coming out here to look for it after learning that the wife had thrown it out the car window. Police went to that field. It was about 6 o'clock on a June morning, and the police scavenged about and found the organ undamaged. Uh, no dogs had chewed on it. It was uh, retrievable. The police do find the penis by this kind of grassy knoll by the 7-Eleven. They go into the 7-Eleven with the penis. They get a hot dog container. They fill it with ice. They put the penis on top of the ice, and that's how they take it to the hospital. And then hours of surgery ensue, and it's reattached. Lorena Bobbitt appeared on the verge of tears this morning as she appeared in court. She was charged with malicious wounding. You understand that charge? Yes. That means she not only wounded and severed his penis, but she did it with malice, hatred, revenge. She was looking at probably 20 years. While we were in the hospital, we found out that John was going to be charged with a marital sexual assault charge. We couldn't believe it. How long did you have to stay in the hospital? About three weeks. And when did you know that everything was going to be back to normal, or at least close to normal? Yeah, the second week, they called my mom. I told her that uh, I had an erection. And how did your, what was your mom's reaction? Oh, yeah, she didn't want to hear that. I said, no, you got to talk to your dad about that. And I was excited. How quickly did you know that what happened that night was going to be a very big story. No, I knew it was, uh, it was, it was big because uh, they were trying to, you know, keep the reporters from coming up to the hospital. They are trying to get into the, the room. What was so unusual here is that they both ended up in the legal crosshairs, both charged with crimes and both facing trials. John Bobbitt arrived surrounded by attorneys. Both Bobbitts went to trial. John first in November of 1993 and was found not guilty of marital sexual assault. You ever worried that the jury wouldn't believe you, that they would think you raped Lorena? I was innocent. I didn't know I was there. Lorena Bobbitt entered the Manassas courtroom to face a jury of seven women and five men. 
Lorena Bobbitt was found not guilty of malicious wounding by reason of insanity just two months later. Everybody was shocked. How can somebody get away with it? Sometimes juries do a kind of rough justice. They look at what happened and they said, that's enough. The treasure chest is some, hidden somewhere within the Rocky Mountains. Next, what John and Lorena are doing today. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.